naangalie e, wakati kama huu anaweza kuharibiwa sifa na mimi namuita nitakaye kwa because is from <laughs> from Sekuru to Tharaka ni karibu sana except kwamba wakati wa maandamano ya 2024 when was a minister responsible for interior even as we speak he is still the minister for the interior jinsi waliwawa wengi na bado wengi hawajulikani waliko 2023 waliwawa watu wengi tukiwa na dada yangu na mapacha my twin sister i don't know she used to escape me i was almost killed lakini waliangalia madha wakaona hii mwili ni kama ya njiru they spared her they nearly killed us lakini mawaji ya 2024 kuua watoto wengi namna hiyo na wewe wenyewe umekubali abductions wameshikwa kinyume na sheria hawapeleki kwa mahakama hawajulikani walipo complete and total abuse of human rights of Kenyans yamekuwa ya ajabu i want to propose wale watoto wa 2024 na 2023 ili kuenzi kama mashujaa wetu tomorrow and my other mashujaa ni vijana wetu wa GNC Kenya hii tunawaenzi mashujaa wetu hao so that tomorrow we have reason at least to celebrate nikija hapa nimepitia kamodhanga mahali tulimzindikisha kijana uh, Rex Masai up to today hakuna askari hata moja amekamatwa akapelekwa korokoroni ndio tujue Ruto na serikali yake have any idea about human feelings hakuna askari hata moja and i want to confirm even the international community wameelewa Ruto ni mtu aina gani sio vile walikuwa wakimuona as we speak things have changed and the international community is with the kenyan people kwa hivyo hapa tukisherekea hafla hii ya kiajabu hatuna bodi hii la pia kujisherekea sisi kama wa kenya na tujue nchi hii yetu hakuna ambaye anaweza kukotoa wewe haki yako kama mwananchi wa Kenya na hakuna hata ambaye yuko na haki ya kutoa uhai wako so we see bunge la Kenya bunge la senate na bunge la national assembly vimetekwa nyara even the raila used to say so vimetekwa nyara by the exact kutekwa nyara aso one of the things my twin sister and my friends are under to look at because I've been in government something called confidential vote in the office of the president ndio meleta kutekwa nyara wazi wazi watu kununuliwa kama kuku kwa bunge the first thing we shall get rid of is that confidential vote in the office of the president ndio wananchi wajue pesa zao hizi zinatumika kivipi that is where the center of corruption kwa nchi hii ukisikia viongozi wananunuliwa ni hizo and by the way it is not even subject to public accounts of the national assembly this is why they can use the billions to do what they have done leaders ambao wamebaki na angalau conscience kidogo kiasi tuamke jameni tuseme no Jensi ah. waliingilia mahakama vacho before justice uh, Barasa I was amazed I don't know they got the the coordinates wakaingia huko ndani kwa mtandao huku tukisema sisi tunataka wakaanza kuimba andani must go Jaji akashangaa mambo gani hata Akasema now this matter must go before open court. It is in open court on Tuesday. My laden brother Kibem Wigai had even introduced him as for conservatory orders 
ile international airport yetu isiende na walagai wakapa sema international airport haitaenda I wish we will not Ruto you have to kill every Kenyan to get the kind of country you are leading us into we will not agree it will not happen it will not happen therefore our judiciary today ilikuwa kwamba wapate order leo jumamosi siku ambapo wenzetu wa seventh day adventist walikuwa wakienda kanisani na kuingineko as we have had walikuwa wapate hiyo order ndiyo deputy president mpya apishwe leo that was the purpose and I said on citizen interview, probably a lot of you will have watched. In Sema, we knew that on Friday there was going to be a special sitting of the National Assembly to approve the outcome of the Senate, meaning they had already anticipated debate before the Senate. So the Senate this is already anticipation, it is illegal, it is in, 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 in contravention of the standing orders of both the Senate and the National Assembly. Lakini kaendelea hivi. Juma Juma kafanyika. On my way nilipitia karibu pale na Uhuru Gardens. It was purpose kwamba kitoka kwa National Assembly was it yesterday. Walikuwa kitoka hapo <laughs> on a Friday. Walikuwa wote wa, 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 waandamane mpaka Uhuru Gardens because Katiba inasema the deputy president must be sworn in uh, openly uh -huh. it is very clearly stipulated so walikuwa mepanga kila kitu leo ni meona wamekua natoa toa pigia wa naiji wa kenya makofi kwa su wametoa hiyo walikuwa natoa mahema na kila kitu meaning at least they could not proceed it must have been that the chief justice must have, said, must have told them we can't do this we will not swear we will not swear your candidate. And now a lot of things, Kenyans on social media, are really, they are, people are amazing. I didn't, I have not checked that before you become deputy president or president or something, you should not be a public, you should not have been a public officer for at least six months. It is there. It is there, that's a law. So, and <laughs> Kigore, Kidore is a senior lawyer himself. He should have seen that. He should have advised his boss. We should not be incensed. We should not be so preoccupied with the present, uh, pres with the presence of 